Yeah, babe, so this is where we're at right now. You probably recognize this place. Me and DJ, I just wanted him to get out and stretch his legs a little bit, let him pee. Uh, so it's pretty empty here right now. Sometimes the best thing to do with this DoorDash is just park your truck and just wait uh, for, uh, you know, be in a busy area, but wait for them to find you some work. And I'm in a pretty good spot. This is that Drexel Powell Avenue area corner. So, all right, babe, uh, I'm on a schedule till about 11 o'clock, and then uh, I don't know what, I'll, I'll probably wait, I'll, if I'll dash if I can, you know, for a little bit. All right, I love you. Bye, babe. Well, hello there, everybody. That's my dog, DJ. And my name is Tony Grillo. Welcome to my channel, Wisconsin Hugs. I am right now uh, in Wisconsin. Um, this town, uh, I think it's, what is this town? I, I don't know if it's South Milwaukee or, I don't know what exactly this town is. Oak Creek. I'm sorry, it's Oak Creek. So, this is in my area, South Milwaukee area is normally what I run when I when I uh, when I DoorDash, and uh, kind of nice. I do bring my dog along when I DoorDash. Uh, I have uh, Monday off uh, my normal job at Walmart, so I did run on Sunday. Sunday was my other day off, and I made well I, my gross was about eighty bucks. I did I don't know ten runs I think. A lot of it was grocery shopping runs, you know. I, I went to Myers and I did a lot of General Dollar. So I thought I'd make a quick YouTube video um, about my door dashing experience. I started about two weeks ago when I ran my numbers and I thought, you know what, my Walmart job's not cutting it. I'm not making enough money uh, to cover all the bills. I'm gonna and I had I had applied to DoorDash a long time ago. And I kept getting texts like, hey, when are you going to DoorDash? You know, why don't you get out there and DoorDash? And uh, so so I uh, uh, I thought, finally, why not? Let's give it a shot. I was uh, I was out. I was just got off work, and I was driving around my neighborhood, and I turned the app on, and I got my first $5 McDonald's run, and I kind of got hooked on it. One of the reasons, you know, you this you can't make a living doing this job but the allure of this job is I was a former truck driver I had a stroke seizure five months ago my CDL suspended I can't drive semi so uh, I got to make some money somehow so I took a Walmart job and doing really well there uh, I work in the receiving area I deal with truck drivers and I was a former truck driver dealing with receivers now I'm a receiver dealing with truck drivers so um, I got to keep stopping here uh, while I film because uh, I got to keep checking in to see if I got any orders. Right now it's slow, but uh, I went on the schedule because uh, they wouldn't let me dash now. And uh, I uh, scheduled, uh, uh, I went on the schedule and, and got my truck fueled up and everything, got ready to go. And, uh, um, and oh, I got tangled up by my dog. And uh, yeah, I take DJ along and when it's slow right now, um, he... I'll find a spot where we can walk around and I'll let him walk and stretch his legs. So right now it's about uh, 37 degrees here and uh, we're, we're, we're getting close to spring. You know, we could taste it. Uh, we're in February. I know my birthday is rolling around, uh, February 10th. So I'll be, what, 55 years old. God, I can't believe I'm getting that old. You know, I'm almost getting close to 60. Um, so... But I'm glad to be here. I, I had two instances a while back where I almost didn't make it. I had a stint put in a while back and a heart attack while I was on the road as a truck driver. And then later on, I, I, had, a, I had another situation where I had a stroke seizure while I was on the road. Luckily, they got to me really quick, and I, 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 I had a full 100% full recovery. But I got to wait another month if I want to go back to trucking or not. So... That's why, uh, but I kind of like doing this. I, I've learned something new. I, I'm doing things that I've never done before, like working at Walmart, and and now I'm trying DoorDash. Yeah, when it gets slow out here, um, I, this is a good area right here, this Oak Creek area. Um, usually can get a lot of work out in this area, and the pay, I get usually get pretty good tips out here too. 
because um, you've got a, a wealthier clientele here. Nice little neighborhood, lots of lots of these businesses here. But it is slow right now, and so it's kind of nice. I like these slow moments because, you know, like I say, I take my dog, and he gets to get outside and, and go for a walk. So, you know, during my recovery phase, I lost a lot of weight. I was applying different jobs. One of the jobs I was applying for was a, a dispatching position where I would have to actually sit and type uh, the whole time. And uh, so I was practicing typewriting for two months for like three three hours a day and that got my right hand working again and so just every little thing just getting off my butt um, working uh, practicing typing everything because my right hand my right arm wasn't working very well at first it didn't move at all and then it slowly started moving and then I just kept typing and, and just kept going at it and I lost a lot of weight. I lost like 50 pounds, and I'm too, I need to lose 30 more, but I'm having trouble. I'm stuck at 253, and I can't seem to break the 250 mark right now. But, uh, you know, I, I'm focused on recovery, and I think a lot of this working that has helped on, on the recovery part. So I keep, I keep checking in. Um, I have to stop the videos, you know, and then keep checking in to see if uh, anything's popped up yet. It is slow. Uh, I had to drive over here a couple miles. I live in a great spot. I live in Cudahy, and in Cudahy, I live like a mile from the McDonald's and the, and the Kentucky Fried Chicken and the Wendy's and the Taco Bell, although Taco Bell really sucked because last night they only have two employees on the night shift, and they had a long line of cars and I was supposed to pick up an order for five bucks and it was only a mile away, but they said it was gonna take at least 45 minutes to an hour to get rid of that food or to get the food done. And I was like, I, I went back and, and un, made, uh, unassigned myself to that. And I lost my 100% completion rate. It bumped me down to 99. And I went home and went to bed. So well, my thoughts on DoorDash. Um, well, I'll tell you, there, there are a lot of good YouTube channels out there. Uh, Pay to Drive, I think, is one of them. Um, I can't remember the other ones. There's a guy, bald guy with a mustache or goatee. He he might be the Pay to Drive guy. There's another guy, I think his name, I don't know if it's Mike or something, but he has a full head of hair. He has a nice little microphone studio set up, and he does puts out a lot of great information. And then there's another guy, he's a, a black fellow from uh, Elridge, Illinois. He has a great channel too. He puts out a lot of great information out there. Uh, and, and so I've kind of been following all those guys and I'm gonna put DoorDash on my, on my video and I never know if any of those guys pop up there. You know, I'd love it if you said hi to me. I'm a little channel compared to them, but obviously there's a lot of interest in DoorDash because these guys got a lot of subscribers, plus they do a great job. Uh, putting out the info out there and, and letting you know what's all going on in DoorDash. So there's not a lot I can add to what those guys, those guys do such a great job. There's not much I can do. Uh, they cover pretty much everything about DoorDashing, but I got a few things I can say, you know, um, I, I think I'll go about it this way. I, you know, maybe on the, nobody really talks much about the delivery part. Um, Panera Bread, Panera Bread has really crappy bags okay for door dashing all right and and then they put soup in their bags and um those soup containers and those lids are pretty flimsy and it doesn't take much if you hit a bump or something then the lid kind of i don't know what happens the soup starts dripping out of the container it'll it once it hits the bag the bag like disintegrates and you don't have a bottom on your bag anymore so you know, I, I don't know. Just be careful when you're hauling for Panera Bread. Make sure you check the soup, okay, if there's soup in the, in the bag or not. I don't know what to tell you. Good luck on those runs. I've only had to do it once, thank God. I kind of am scared to do Panera Bread. Subway, at least the subways that I'm hitting in this area, um, their bags suck. If you put two sandwiches in their bags and you pick the bag up by the handle, the bag totally busts apart, you know. It, it, the bags cannot handle the weight of the sandwiches and then their seals are, are crappy so even if you carry the bag you know by the bottom of the bag um, the seals always come apart and 
So I don't know. I just I don't know what to tell you on that way too. Subway is awful with their bags. You got to be careful about that. So right now I did two McDonald's runs and uh, I had a really good paying one. Um, it, it was like ten bucks. I only had to run a couple miles. I had to drive over here, so I drove like six miles to get into this area because my area was dead. And uh, I live in Cudahy, so I had to drive over here to the Oak Creek area. And uh, But then I, I got a $5 one. I took it right away just to get the ball rolling. Um, I only had to drive like two miles to deliver it. And then I took, uh, then I got the $10 one. So I'm at 15 bucks right now, but now I'm sitting because I ain't finding any work at the moment. But my thoughts on DoorDash. Um, it's definitely not something you do for a full-time job. It, it's, it's a side hustle. Um, like, like some of the other channels have talked about, it is definitely a side hustle. It's a way to supplement your income. Don't look at it. You're not going to make 20 bucks an hour. Uh, I haven't found a single credible YouTuber. Uh, sometimes people in the comments, but, you know, I, I don't believe anything, that, uh, you know, those people are saying because I know better um, from my own experiences and from the credible YouTube channels that are out there. You're not going to make 20 bucks an hour. Um I figured it out. Um, I am probably making between seven and eight dollars after everything's done. Total expenses, taxes, wear and tear on the car, other expenses like oil changes. Um, you know, you got a depreciation on your vehicle. You know, all that stuff. New tires. You got to factor everything in there. You know, everything that you're doing. Uh, price of gas. Everything. So, you know, factoring all that in there, um, I'm probably. You know, making uh, and take home, take home. I'm probably between seven to eight dollars an hour. I th actually, I last night I think I figured I was about seven fifty-five an hour. Why am I doing it? Well, because I can schedule my own. I can make my own schedule, um, and I can do it. Like if I'm once I'm done with work, I can go do it. Plus, it's kind of fun. Uh, you know, I took the girlfriend out yesterday, Sunday, and we went DoorDash, and we. Did a bunch of dollar generals and we did a Myers grocery count uh, so we were doing grocery shopping all day and she kind of likes that she she liked to go to the dollar general stores and find all the items that we needed to find and she liked going to Myers because we never been in the Myers store uh, over in Greendale and so and it's a very beautiful store and and she likes the challenge of trying to find the items because a lot of times the items are gone you know here's another thing those people that are making those orders on a Friday, Saturday, Sunday, a lot of these stores are out of, they're out of that stuff. Especially if you have something really rare. Like, um, you know, I had to pick up icy, icy, like, uh, uh, icy pops or whatever. And the particular kind they wanted, they were all out. There, were, there wasn't any icy available. It, it was totally empty. I don't I guess icy must be popular. Um but certain items like hubachi sushi, you, you know, somebody wanted me to get them hubachi sushi on a Friday night, and they did not. They had every other sushi available, but they didn't have hubachi sushi, so it wasn't there. It was gone. So you don't, you know, I would highly recommend if you're gonna do that, don't, don't ask for rare stuff on a Friday night. I was surprised. I went to a Dollar General, and they didn't have any Diet Mountain Dew two gallon. Two liter bottles, two liter bottles, no Diet Mountain Dew. And I asked the lady, and she said, Well, our Pepsi guy never came in today. He didn't show up today. We're out. You know, it was a Sunday night. So, you know, a lot of times these people stock up on Monday. You know, Monday's a good day, Tuesday, you know, Wednesday. But at the end of the week, you know, a lot of your stuff is gone. So, you know, it's, if you, you got somebody, a DoorDasher, running around on a Friday, Saturday, Sunday. There's a good chance they're, they're, the stuff that you want isn't going to be in the store. So I'm trying to think of things to, to talk about for door dashing real quick. Um, one of the things that I got, oh, there's my dog. One of the things that um, one of the YouTube channels I was watching mentioned about was the red card. You get a card in the mail. Once you do 50 deliveries, you get your little red bag in the mail and you get your red card. It, they, they show up separate. A uh, red card comes in an envelope, but make sure you put that red card in your wallet and do not lose that red card I, I somebody mentioned that on a channel I didn't even know what the red card was I know it came in the mail and I thought what's this you know an, another you know credit card uh, uh, you know somebody trying to get me to use their credit card I, I didn't you know even realize it was a 
a DoorDash card, and then I saw a DoorDash symbol, and I thought, well, I don't know what the heck this is. DoorDash trying to get me to sign up for their credit card or something. But anyways, no, that card, you use that when you go to Meyer grocery store you will use that card to buy the groceries when you start running because now what will happen is after you do your 50 they'll start assigning you grocery store runs and generally those are pretty good paying gigs if you can get them so you want to make sure you hang on to that card that red card and I'm thankful that somebody on a YouTube channel that does DoorDash stuff on their YouTube channel uh, told me that so uh, because the very next day, I threw that card in my wallet, and and I got a call. I got a call for a Meyer store and then a bunch of Dollar Generals. And yesterday, that's all me and the girlfriend did, Dollar General. And we actually made some pretty good money. I, 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 I'm I thinking I made, uh, I grossed almost $100 yesterday. I ran about five hours. So, yeah, that's 20 bucks an hour, but that's $20 an hour gross, you know. When you, you only keep maybe, you know, 60 50 percent of that so then it knocks it down to maybe 10 bucks an hour maybe you know net you know after you deduct all the expenses well, as far as strategies and everything for door dashing um you just gotta try it oh i gotta order okay well everybody i'll maybe talk about the strategies later or i'll come back and finish this video Alright, so I started at 9 o'clock. I did do a shift uh, till 11, so two hours. My active time was an hour 10 minutes, but I actually, it was a two hour shift. I did four deliveries, uh, $33.90. I probably get to keep, you know, roughly 60 to maybe 50%, somewhere in that area. I net, so we're probably looking at, you know, half of that. So, you know, right around, you know, $17. So, yeah, I probably, you know, netted, um, you know, $9 an hour. Eight, between 8 and $9, which is, you know, a little bit higher than what I, I normally figure. I, I have it factored in between 7 and 8, but it's that's what I netted right there is probably around, you know, a little bit over $8 an hour on that one. So now this is the tricky part right here because I am actually over, uh, well, here, my area right there is Cudahy, South Milwaukee, Oak Creek. That's where I live. But there wasn't much going on there, and there still isn't anything. Now I would have to schedule. I'm in the Greenfield, New Berlin area. I'd have to schedule. Um, let's see what the schedule how soon can I skip? Yeah, not until 3 o'clock. Okay. So, um, you know, let's see here. If I want to change it. Okay, there. Schedule. South Milwaukee. Yeah, they have me start at 4. So I'm going to, I am going to hit this 4 o'clock because I was planning on dashing all day. But what I'm going to do is I think I'm going to drive up to the uh, this area, the West Dallas area and uh, see if there's anything uh, going on there. So yeah, I'm actually parked in my car here for a sec. Um, I'm gonna end this video, but uh, just trying to think, you know, um, yeah, right now, I, I, you know, some drivers have different strategies. Um, you know, and maybe some of you other people can help me out because I am a newbie, so I'm, I don't have all the answers. I'm still learning as I go. You got to try it to see how it works. It's a game. You play the game. You try to find out the rules. You try to find out how to win. Um, that's what life's all about. You know, most of us that are dashing, uh, we do it because uh, we want to get ahead, you know, and, and there aren't some, for some of us, there aren't a whole lot of opportunities out there, you know, um, and some people don't want to do a nine to five. Uh, they would rather sit behind the wheel, but they don't have a CDL. You know, uh, I do have a CDL, but mine I I can't drive at the moment because of my, well, I have to wait another month till I get the doctor's okay. Uh, he'll write the letter, and then if I want to go back on over the road or drive uh, local or whatever, I can do that. But right now, 
I still got bills to pay and I don't have short-term disability insurance, which was a mistake on my part. And maybe some of you might want to consider, you know, if you're in that situation, you're working a full-time job. Um, I was pretty healthy, but I never expected to, to, to get a stroke seizure and, and, but it, you know, it all worked out. I lost a lot of weight. I gotten healthier and I've had different experiences. The only bad thing I was left with $12,000 in hospital bills. A lot of my insurance covered a lot of it, but I still have to pick up that difference, you know, and that that's another reason why I'm dashing is I'm trying to pay off all the bills and, 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 and keep, keep our, keep my house, you know? So, you know, and that's what we're here. That's why we do what we do. You know, we're, we're trying to get ahead and a lot of good people out there dashing. Uh, I bump into them when I'm on the road. So, uh, I, 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 you know, in the comments section, if you people, you know, you drivers out there, I'm not sure which is the best route to go, whether, you know, you got two options as far as pay, like, um, you know, you, you take the customer's pay, whatever, and tips, or do you go with the base wage and then collect? Um, you know, it was interesting because I could have chose to do the shift at they, where they pay me $14 an hour. And then I, uh, and then I, I don't know, I guess the tips are a lot lower, you know, or I could go the other route. Right now, I've always gone the route where I get to see everything up front and, I thought, you know, if 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 I'm doing like on that last one, I had what thirty some was it thirty some bucks, you know? Um, I can't remember what it was. I'd have to go back and look at it, but it just seemed like I was making more than fourteen dollars an hour doing it the other way. Uh, but if some of you you guys that have a lot more experience than me, if you want to put it in the comments, let me know which is better. Which is a better way to go? What do you think? What what do you what do you think on that one? You know, do you go with the the base wage and the lower tips, or do you go with the the other route, which is what I've been doing um, since I started working uh, DoorDash? And uh, that's all I I got for you. Um, you know, um, I I hope you all have a, a great day and uh, uh, peace. Take care. Uh, Wisconsin hugs.